This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave it to me. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, 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 shine. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 shine. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 shine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Praise God. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Praise God. Uh, I was at work yesterday, and I don't know what made the made this man ask me what I, was, what I do on my off day, what I did on my off day. And I was like, you know, I mean, you know, just meditate in the world, pray, and you know, read and study and pray for you and pray for everybody. He said, like, really? I said, yeah, I pray for you too. You know, and um, sometimes I might, you know, get my cook on, cook me some greens and scratch macaroni, cheese, cheekbone steak, whatever. You know, or some neck bone, whatever I feel like, you know, cooking. And uh, he said, why do you cook all that? I said, yeah, that's what I do. I mean, you know, I get down and do what I do. Praise God. I just thank God for giving me strength to do. He said, wow. I said, yeah. I said, yeah. He said, well, really, you praying for me? I said, all the time, every day. I got me out to do what I do. He said, well, can you do me a favor? I said, what? He said, can you pray for me now? I said, yes. Yes, I will. I went to praying for him and, you know, tell him God bless him and his family and everything. And God keep you, God uh, keep you strong and get in the word and, you know, and do the will of God for your life. You know, change, you know, and you happy, you got some money in your life, you know, keep that person, you know. Um, you love that, you love your wife, keep her, you know, don't let her go. You have someone already, don't let her go, treat her right. And, you know, and I was like telling him in Jesus' name, and, you know, he was just thanking me and everything, and, you know, well, praise God, no problem. But anyway, I just want to just, you know, share that with you, praise God, and I was just, Glad, I mean, just glad that that joy. I mean, I came to work. Just, I mean, usually always happy with a smile. Just having that joy. I mean, praise God. Anyway, um, I just want to read here a little bit about um, you know, David's song of praise. Praise God, David's song of praise. I'm gonna read out of Second Samuel, um, chapter twenty-two, verse seventeen on down and then I'm gonna share with you out of Corinthians after I get done. It says here, uh, he reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drove he drew me out of deep water. He rescued me from powerful enemies, from those who hate me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the loss supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He's, he he res, he rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all His regulation. I have never abandoned His decrees. I am blameless. Before God, I have kept myself from sin. 
the Lord reward me for doing right. He has seen my innocent. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To those who integrity, integrity, you show into greedy. To the poor, you show yourself poor. I mean, pure. To the poor, you show yourself pure. But to the wicked, you show yourself uh, hostile. You rescue the humble, but your eyes watch the proud and humiliate them. O oh Lord, you are my lamp, the Lord light of my darkness, and your strength I can crush in in an army. With my God I can scale any wall. God's way is perfect. All the all the Lord promised prove true. He is a shed for all who looks to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock. God is my strong fortress. And he makes my way perfect. He makes me a, a sure foot as a deer. In, 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 uh, enabling me to stand on mountain height. He trained my hand for battles. He straightened my arm to store a bronze bow. You have given me your shed. Your victory, your help, has made me great. You have made a wide path for my feet to keep them from slipping. I chased my enemies and destroyed them. I did not stop until they conquered. I consumed them. I struck them down so they did not get up. They fell beneath my, you know, they fell beneath my feet. You are on me with, with strength for the battle. You have uh, subdued my enemy under my feet. You placed my foot on their neck. I have destroyed all who hated me. Um, <clears throat> they looked for help, but no one came to their rescue. They even cried to the Lord, but he rest. He, I mean, they even cried to the Lord, but he refused. He refused to answer. I ground them as fine as the dust of the earth. I trampled them in the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my uh, uh, a cruiser. You preserved me as the rulers over nation people I don't even know. Serve me. Foreign nation cream cream before me. As soon as soon as they hear of me, they sub submit. They all lose their courage and come trembling, trembling from their stronghold. The Lord live praise to my rock, my God, the rock of my salvation. Be exalt. <clears throat> I mean, be exalted. Be exalted. Um, he is the God who pays back those who harm me. He brings down the nation under me and delivers me from my enemies. You hold me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. You save me from violent appointed for this, I mean, a violent appointed for this, O oh Lord. I will praise you among the nation. I will sing praise to your name. That's also in Romans chapter 15, verse 9. I will sing praise to your name. You give great victory to your king. You show unfallen love to your anointed, to David and all his descendants forever. Praise God to all of us. David to all of us. Praise God. Uh, I'm going to read, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna read next about, uh, let me read this. Right I'm gonna read um the book of Second Corinthians. Um, you know, basically talking about um unequal yoke. God's gonna be with unequal yoke. You know, unbelievers basically. You know, um, if you believe in a, if you believe in God and everything, and you save and everything, and uh, and then you're around uh, with someone that's not a believer. You know, not saved, don't want to change, don't want to do what's right. You know, you have to get away from that person, you know, because it's unequally. 
you know what I mean? Just like some people get married, you know, one believer, you know, and others don't believe, and you don't wind up getting married. You say don't be with them, equal with yoke. And, uh, you know, it's like one fall, you're going to fall. It's like one lift you up, you know, and you're going to be lifted up. You know, why are you going to be with someone that's going to um, tear you down? You know, be with somebody that's going to bless you. Be with somebody that's going to lift you up. And not tear you down, not use and abuse you. Be with somebody want to lift you up and be a blessing to you in your life. You know, praise God. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna read here, um, Second Corinthians chapter six. I'm gonna start with uh, verse fourteen. You know, it's basically talking about the temple of the living God. That's what it's called. I'm gonna leave it like that. Is that the temple? of the living God, where God said, you know, verse 14, I'm going to go ahead and read it on down to uh, 18, might as well. It said, don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can believers be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God, temple, and idol? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore come out from among unbelievers uh, and separate yourself from them, said the Lord. <clears throat> Touch, I mean, he said, don't touch filthy things, and I will welcome you, and I will be your father, and you will be my son and daughter, said the Lord Almighty. Praise God. And that's, um, that's also Revelation 18. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. I'm going to flip there right quick on my NLT Bible. Revelation chapter 4. I mean, 18. I say 18 chapter 4. Ooh. Yeah, Revelation 18 4. I'm going to read that. Not a revelation. I have it in my hand. Praise God, I have it in my hand. It says, uh, Then I heard another voice calling from heaven, Come away from her, my people. Do not take part in her sin, or you will be punished with her. You like being with somebody, just unbeliever, you know, you're dealing with that person, you know, you're going to be punished with them. You know, they're unbelievers. They don't even believe. They want to, you know, do what they want to do. They're not saved. They're not, I mean, Getting the knowledge of being right in the Lord, then you know you're gonna be you're gonna be torn down right along with him eventually. You have to separate yourself. And by Revelation verse uh, what chapter eighteen is you know talks about the fall of Babylon. You know, basically you're talking about the fall of Babylon, you know. Being that person that can unbelieve. It's just for her sins are piled as high as heaven. And God remember her evil deed. Do to her as she had done to others, double her penalty for all her evil deeds. She breathed a cup of terror for others, so breathed twice as much for her. She grew up by herself and lived in luxury, so match it now with torment and sorrow. She boosts in her heart. I am queen on my throne. I am no helper with widows, and I have no reason to mourn. Therefore, the Legs will overtake her in a single day. Death and mourning and famine, she will be completely consumed by fire. For the Lord God who judges her is mighty. You know, her or uh, him and hooking up with the wrong person, you know, that's not right. You know, how to separate yourself. You know, I know some unbelievers, you know, all the time to be around me. I mean, you know, I'm good people, you know, even when I wasn't. You know, say I'm, I'm still, I'm still good people. People like to be around me. I'm fun and funny to be around. And you know, sometimes right now, I me, mean, I might joke. 
I may joke, you know, every now and then joke and clown around, but you know, God knows my heart. I mean, you know, He know I'm real. Praise God. And I'm a believer, and He always got to be first. You know, I mean, what it is, what it is. I am who I am, who God has me to be. Praise God. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Praise God. And I'm able to share with you the word of God, you know. You know, I mean, you can be in the world, tune on in yourself, praise God. I was just reading out the NLT Bible about that. You know, I was at work yesterday. You know, that really got done. I was just sitting waiting. You know, um, and I just, you know, grabbed the Bible and I just started reading. And, you know, um, and then I looked at the, the Morgan Bible and I looked at the, the Holy Bible. And I was reading the Holy Bible and I tried to get into the Morgan Bible. You know, more of them Bible, it, it just kind of throw me off a little bit, you know, I mean, I mean, it's talking about, you know, it's just talking about things, but, I mean, I mean, I'm just not into the, the Mormon, the Morgan, whatever Bible, um, I just started reading the Holy Bible and everything, and, you know, meditating on the world, and, you know, and um, as I was, you know, sitting, waiting, you know, um, my supervisor at the time, and I, um, you know, I just picked the Bible and started reading and everything, and you know, started writing down some scriptures, praise God, and I just started meditating, and, you know, and then just keeping that joy and everything inside of me, and, you know, and trying to stay focused, I mean, you know, the world is powerful, you know, it just keeps me strong, it's like it just gives me energy, it's like when you get low on gas, well, uh, you know, you're trying to, you want to fill it back up, you know, fill your tank back up. As I is with the world of God, you know, I'm low on energy. I mean, I need to, you know, build myself back up, get in the world, you know, I need some some um, energy. I need to be full, full of the world, praise God. You know, I don't want to run out. I just want to keep on staying tuned in and, you know, tuned on, you know. But anyway, thank you for watching and listening once again, praise God. I'm going to pray for each and every last one of you. Um, Hope my year be a blessing and praying for weekend, upcoming weekend, this weekend, and be a blessing to you, praise God, and be blessed in all that you do. Heavenly Father, pray for those that are watching, God bless you, God keep you, Lord, just, God just pray the Lord be with you, in Jesus' name, protect you, and lead you, and guide you, in every area of your life, whether you're born somewhere, or coming home from somewhere, or just been a going on a trip, getting on the plane, getting off the plane, or you're going to drive, or or whatever job, whatever you do, I just pray the Lord to be with you and lead you and guide his angels around you and protect you in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, I just pray you have a blessed upcoming weekend. I pray you keep uh, God first in your life and, you know, do the will of God. You know, it may not matter what you're going through. You might be going through something. I just pray the Lord just, you know, be with you and keep you strong no matter what it is. Don't stop. Don't give up. Just stay strong in the mix of it. Keep God first, you know, talk to the Lord, you know, he know all about it, but he wants you to talk to him. I pray you just, you know, keep yourself together, pray for yourself, so you can stay in order, you can stay right, so you won't slip out of order. I pray you just pray for yourself in Jesus' name, and God bless uh, your family, your kids, your, your nephew, your nieces, your grandkids. God bless them in Jesus' name, and I pray they just uh, do the will of God for their life that they already have, and I pray they stay strong and do what's right. Live with right, love one another, treat uh, each other with respect, you know, and talk to each other right. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you in Jesus' name. And I rebuke every demon and every devil. You tell the devil to get up under your feet behind you in Jesus' name. You know, don't let no devil steal your joy today or no day in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. For you is somebody in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, somebody might not be feeling good. I pray, Lord, just release that pain. And you was healed. By his stripes, you was healed in Jesus' name. Somebody might be in a hospital, whoever it is. Somebody probably been in a terrible car accident. You know, somebody probably just lost their home. Somebody home probably just got burned up. Lord, I pray you just restore their home, fix every situation, heal their body in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. In spite of what they're going through, so I pray that just give the God thanks that if they made it alive in Jesus' name, glory be to God, because they could have been dead a long time ago, and I put them in name of Jesus. Lord, be with you, strengthen you, help you, get you back in order in Jesus' name. I pray you just serve a big God and just know that God is with you. He is with you in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And in spite of what you're going through, He is with you in Jesus' name, I pray. And I pray you just give God the glory and the thanks. 
whatever, you know, will happen in your life, or whatever you've been through, whatever you're going through, I just pray you just stop and give God thanks. Tell him, thank you, Jesus, because it could have been worse. Praise God. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. And I pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name, because you is somebody, and God loves you. He cares for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. So, you know, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, God loves you. Praise God. He loves you. He cares for you. He wants to do right. Stay on the right path. Stay on the right course. You know, and love one another. You know, love one another. Praise God. You know, somebody want a hug. You know, somebody need a hug. Somebody need a good encouragement. They don't want to hear all that drama, all that bad talk. Somebody need a, some good encouragement. You know, praise God. You know, somebody wants to need some attention. Some, give some God attention. Praise God. Glory be to God. Just tell them they're going to be all right. And I'm telling you, you're going to be all right. Praise God. You just hold on steadfast in the Word. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. So until next time, God bless you and God keep you. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Take care.